When I was in second grade, I had a very special feeling in my heart. It was the feeling of my first love. It all started in the colourful world of my school. In my class, there was a girl named Emily. She had the shiniest golden hair that sparkled like the sun, and her eyes were as blue as the sky on a sunny day. Every time she smiled, it felt like a warm hug wrapping around my heart. I thought she was the most beautiful girl in the whole wide world. One sunny morning, our teacher announced that we were going to do a special project together. My heart skipped a beat when I found out that I was going to be Emily's partner. We were going to create a big, colourful poster about our favourite animals. Emily loved dolphins, and I loved lions, so we decided to include both on our poster. As we worked on our project, I couldn't help but notice how Emily's laughter sounded like the tinkling of bells. She was so smart and knew all the interesting facts about dolphins. I was amazed by how she could draw the dolphins so perfectly, making them look like they were about to leap off the paper and into the ocean. We spent a lot of time together working on our poster. During our breaks, we would sit on the grass under the big oak tree and talk about our favourite books, movies and ice cream flavours. I found out that we both loved chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream and that made me feel like we were meant to be friends. One day, as we were putting the finishing touches on our poster, I felt my heart beating faster. I knew I had a secret to share. Taking a deep breath, I looked at Emily and said, Emily, I think you're really special. You make me smile a lot and I'm really glad we're friends. Emily looked at me with her bright blue eyes and a big smile spread across her face. You're special to me too, she said. You're my best friend. Hearing those words made my heart dance with joy. Even though I didn't understand all the grown-up feelings at the time, I knew that my first love was a beautiful friendship. Emily and I continued to be best friends all through second grade. We laughed, played, and shared secrets like two peas in a pod. As the school year came to an end, Emily gave me a friendship bracelet she had made with colourful beads. I wore it proudly, knowing that it symbolised the special bond we had. Even though we eventually went to different schools, I never forgot my first love, the sweet friendship that bloomed under the golden sun of second grade. As the summer after second grade began, Emily and I continued to hang out as much as we could. We went to the local park to have picnics and chase butterflies. Sometimes we would ride our bikes around the neighbourhood, our laughter echoing down the streets as we raced each other. One day, we decided to have a lemonade stand. We spent the whole morning squeezing lemons and mixing sugar to make the tastiest lemonade ever. We set up a little table at the end of the driveway with a colourful sign that said, Emily and Matthew's Lemonade Stand. Our moms helped us by bringing out some cookies to sell too. As people walked by, we greeted them with our biggest smiles and offered them a refreshing cup of lemonade. Our hearts swelled with pride when we saw the smiles on their faces as they sipped our lemonade and chatted with us. We even earned a few coins that we saved in a special jar as a reminder of our summer adventure. Every day was a new adventure with Emily. We explored the woods behind her house, searching for hidden treasures and pretending we were brave explorers on a quest. Sometimes we would lie on the grass and make shapes out of the fluffy clouds, imagining that we were riding on magical cloud animals. As the years went by and we entered different grades, our lives started to change. We made new friends and had different classes, but our friendship remained strong. We wrote letters to each other during the summers when we couldn't see each other every day, sharing stories about our vacations and our new experiences. One summer, Emily went on a family trip to the beach. She sent me a postcard with a picture of the ocean and a message that said, Wish you were here building sandcastles with me. I smiled and imagined the sound of the waves crashing and the feel of the sand between our fingers. As we grew older, our interests started to diverge a bit. Emily became interested in art, and I found a passion for science. Even though we weren't in the same classes anymore, we still supported each other in everything we did. Emily would show me her beautiful paintings, and I would excitedly share my science experiments with her. 
Time flew by, and before we knew it, high school graduation was approaching. Emily and I reminisced about all the memories we had created together, from our lemonade stand to our adventures in the woods. We decided to create a scrapbook filled with pictures, notes, and mementos from our journey through childhood. At our graduation ceremony, we sat side by side, wearing caps and gowns. When our names were called, we walked across the stage to receive our diplomas, and I felt a mix of excitement and sadness. We were about to embark on new chapters of our lives, and while I was excited for the future, I couldn't help but feel a pang of nostalgia for the innocent days of second grade. As we hugged each other tightly after the ceremony, I knew that our first love, our precious friendship, would continue to be a source of strength and happiness no matter where life took us. Emily and I promised to keep in touch and to never forget the wonderful journey we had shared from our very first love-filled days in second grade to the exciting moments of our high school graduation.